Our second panel today consists of experts in the electric aircraft powered lift space. The subcommittee asks that you limit your oral remarks to five minutes. And with that, Mr. Kyle Clark, you are recognized for five minutes of an opening statement. Uh, thanks for having me here. Uh, it, it's really meaningful for you all to take the time to listen to uh, the important stuff that we're working on in electric aviation. I'm from Beta Technologies. We're up in Vermont. We're a, uh, I used to say small company, but we're, we're growing. Um, there's, uh, there's about 500 engineers back in, at Beta right now completing the mission that we've signed up to pursue. We're focused on uh, rural access, uh, logistics, cargo, medical applications, uh, first with uh, fixed wing aircraft and then moving into aircraft to take off and land vertically. It's a mission, cargo and logistics, that we can solve today. And that's why we've leaned into that. It's pragmatic, it's simple. There are not a lot of reasons not to lean into electric aviation. America has a history of innovating in aviation. And that innovation is driven to more economical, more sustainable, and most importantly, safer and safer aircraft. The future of aviation across the world is going to be electric. Electric is fundamentally safer. We developed a, a battery system that we partnered with the FAA and dropped a full voltage battery from 50 feet that passed on the first test. And that's pretty remarkable. That didn't happen with gas-powered airplanes, it turns out. It took a long time to get to the level of safety that we're starting from. Look, we want the same thing as the FAA. We want a safe, reliable, and repeatably produced aircraft. We are making the transition at Beta from being an engineering company and then moving into a manufacturing company. It's also important to note that we at Beta are not just focused on the aircraft. We're also focused on the charging systems, on the training of the like pilots. Pitch forward, back, left, right. The interesting thing about this industry is that a lot of people don't think it's real. Um, we, we've been flying our aircraft all across the country on our own charging network. We built a network halfway across the country. It's coming down the East Coast. We're flying multiple aircraft daily up in Vermont. And the most common response we get when we get to airports, people will come over and be like, that thing's electric? Experimental. It's real, it's here, it's not complicated. The technology's here and we're ready to get to work. Thank you. Um, I'm not sure if any of you have been in the rotunda of the Capitol, but up in the rotunda of the Capitol, they actually have the Wright brothers uh, plane up there depicted is because of its transformative role in United States history. And I, I think that I'm looking right now at the next transformative uh, innovators in, in our country. I want to thank you again for your testimony. Subcommittee stands adjourned.